My 11 Labs professional voice clone is finally ready. Now I want you to hear it in action so you can judge the quality for yourself and you might want to know how to create a professional voice clone. So I'm going to use my professional voice clone to show you how to create a professional voice clone. And the real me will be back with you in just a minute. We're starting on the main page of 11 Labs. In the upper right hand corner, click the button that says go to app. If you don't have an account yet or you're not logged in, you'll need to take care of that first. Then it will drop you here on the speech synthesis page. Come over to this menu on the left and click voices. Now over on the right, click this button that says add a new voice. This thing will pop up and it wants to know what type of voice you want to add. Down at the bottom, click the one that says professional voice cloning. That option isn't enabled for me because I've already created a professional voice clone. And you only get one per account. Now you'll get all this information about how professional voice cloning works and what they recommend you do to get the best result. You have to check this box at the bottom saying you've read everything and you'll follow the instructions. And the box that says you have the right to use the voice you're cloning, you're responsible for whatever you upload and generate, and you agree to abide by the terms and privacy policy. Now click the start button and uh, give your voice a name and select the language you recorded in. Upload your samples and any labels you want. Also describe the voice, things like young or old, smooth or hoarse, or maybe what use cases the voice would be really good for. Now just click the button that says create professional voice. The next step is verification. They want to make sure you're using your own voice so they'll make you record a short script in real time to compare it to the voice you uploaded. It's best if you can use the same equipment in the same environment and the same tone of voice when you record this verification to make sure everything matches. When you're ready, just click Start Verification. Record yourself reading the jumbled text on the screen and click Submit. Now, if it doesn't give you anything else to do at this point, go back to the Voices page and find the voice you're working on. It'll have whatever name you just gave it. You might just see a tag that says Cued. That's what I saw for a few months while I waited. But the 11 Labs guide says you'll see a button that says click to request fine tuning and you need to click that. Maybe they moved that part of the process since I submitted mine. So I'd check for that button and click it if it's there. In my case, it sat there saying queued for a few months before it said uh, request fine tuning. But their instructions have it the other way around. Either way, the steps are the same. Just those two might happen in reverse order. I've got a few videos that might help you get the best out of your voice clone. So links to those are in the description for you. So all the voice you heard there was my 11 Labs professional voice clone. You decide for yourself how you think it turned out. I think it turned out really well. How does it compare to 11 Labs instant voice clone? I think it might help if we could hear the two having a conversation. I'm Bob's instant voice clone. I think I sound pretty good. I'm Bob's professional voice clone and I sound better. Dude, why you gotta be nasty? I mean, it says it right in my name, professional. That's better than instant. Really? That just means you took longer and were more expensive because humans had to deal with you. Listen, Mr. Instant, you wouldn't understand. Just leave it to the professionals. Guys, simmer down. You both have your strengths. Oh, no, I'm arguing with imaginary computer-generated non-people people. Okay, now that you've heard the voices of both of my imaginary friends and they are in timeout until they can be nice to each other, let's talk about how they compare. For starters, the Instant Voice Clone is available in the Starter Plan, which is the first tier of paid plans in 11 Labs. The Professional Voice Clone is only available in the Creator Plan and above. When it comes to Instant Voice Clones, you can have multiple variations, depending on which tier you're in is how many Instant Voice Clones you can create. I'm on the Creator tier and I've created a couple of voice clones. I have one that I call Conversational, one that I call News Voice, and the major difference in how they sound is because I recorded different audio samples for each one of them. I get into all of that in my video on creating Instant Voice Clones, so check that out if you're interested. But when it comes to the Professional Voice Clone, you can only have one per account. So if you want your voice in a different style and you're using a professional voice clone, you've got to do that through the setting sliders, the stability, similarity, and style sliders. Now for the instant voice clone, it requires one to two minutes of audio samples where the professional voice clone requires that you provide 30 minutes to three hours of voice sample. When you create an instant voice clone, it's ready to use in just a minute or two. On the other hand, when it comes to the professional voice clone, 11 Labs says it takes two to four weeks. 
My experience, I waited two or three months for my professional voice clone to be ready. And I know I'm not alone with that. I've heard from others who've experienced the same time frame. Obviously, the instant voice clone is faster, it's easier to create, you can have multiple versions. If you're not crazy about it, it's easy to delete it and create another one. The question comes down to quality. Does the professional voice clone sound better? And if so, does that difference in quality outweigh the other advantages of the instant voice clone? At this point, I will use my professional voice clone for this video, and I'm on the fence. I don't know yet. I definitely hear some little things in there that I like better than what I've gotten out of the instant voice clone, but I don't know if it's worth it over all the advantages of the instant voice clone. If you haven't checked out Eleven Labs yet, there's a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so if you end up making a purchase to a paid plan at some point, I may receive a small commission, and I sincerely appreciate that. But if you've never used Eleven Labs before, I suggest you start on the free tier, which gets you about 10,000 characters per month, and that's about 10 minutes of audio. Now, the free tier does not include voice cloning, commercial license, and some other features. But it gives you plenty of character credits to really try out things like text-to-speech and see how it works for you. The starter plan at $5 a month does include the commercial license and an instant voice clone. If you want to create a professional voice clone, you'll need the creator plan or above. Now, the creator plan is $11 for the first month and then it's $22 a month after that. But don't go in with the idea that you'll pay 11 bucks for one month, get your professional voice clone, and then downgrade. First of all, it seems pretty likely that it's gonna take more than a month before your professional voice clone is ready, and I've not tried this, but I assume if you downgrade from Creator, which includes the professional voice clone, to a plan that does not, you'll probably lose access to that voice. For each of their paid plans, if you pay yearly, it works out to you're paying for 10 months and you get two months free. When we're talking about the characters you get every month in each one of these plans, it's because the general currency of Eleven Labs is in characters. It's because when you generate audio using text-to-speech, Eleven Labs charges it based on the number of characters in that text prompt that creates the audio. So if you type out a phrase that's 200 characters long that you want to generate audio for, it'll deduct 200 characters from your balance. And remember, that's characters, not words. I hope you found this video helpful, or at least mildly entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.